Hello friends, you're with the Lonesome Gamer and I'm playing Eldritch Horror uh, with the Under the Pyramids expansion we have here the Egypt sideboard and we're playing against Nefren Ka Until now it's not looking too bad also not really great, we only played two turns. Uh, here, good old Mark Harrigan is already down to one sanity. So he definitely has to rest. But his problem is he's got the hunger condition, so if he performs a rest action he cannot recover sanity. Basically the plan is that these two guys here, Mark Harrigan and Zoe Samaras, close the gate here at the pyramids then move here to this uh, to Egypt and try to solve these special mysteries here where they are marked with the Eldritch tokens um, that will be one of these it's called dark mist the black wind mystery that's what it's called and we need two of these tokens removed to solve that mystery. Uh, during that time uh, Harvey Walters he will try to solve the rumor here and to do so he needs four clue tokens. Sounds hard, isn't easy, but he's got the ancient tome that allows him to gain clue tokens and in addition the clairvoyance spell which also helps him to gain clue tokens so therefore if somebody can do it he's the right guy she well I'm not absolutely sure what to do with Patrice Hathaway and Sydney I could try to gain some items here of the reserve especially the arcane blade the lucky ring these are really good items and then I could try to, well, either solve the other mystery, I simply have to go there and basically um, uh, successfully resolve one of these uh, gate cards. I could also try to gain one of these clue tokens here, or maybe simply wait a little bit and uh, see what comes up next. Okay. So let's start with Harvey Walters again. Um, so first he's going to take again the action to read the ancient tome. So he's got to roll three dice because that's his lore. And we need a success here. And we have one or two actually. So that allows him to spend one sanity and then he gains a clue token but <clears throat> yeah then he will rest that's his second action so he regains his sanity and in addition he can now pray so he's going to do a will test also three dice and no success here, but that's okay. <clears throat> so now it's Patrice Hathaway. And... Well, not absolutely sure what to do with her. Well, I think I want to I think I want to buy maybe the arcane blade for example. That's pretty amazing. The lucky ring is also good. Let's hope for something good here. We roll three dice to make this influence check. And we have two successes. That's actually pretty good. 
So I'm going to take the bank loan then. That gives me two additional successes. And that brings me to four. So I can now take the arcane blade. And... Hmm. Well... I'm not sure if I want the Ritual Candles or the Arcane Scroll. It's both pretty cool. I think I'm going to take the Arcane Scroll. Okay, and then... To get rid of this depth condition, which I gain from the bank loan, I think I simply have to roll again. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there we are. Yeah, okay, I, I gotta do a another successful influence test to get rid of this condition. And if I don't manage to pass, I'll get the death condition or I keep it. But I easily made it. Two more successes. So no problems here. Very good. That was definitely worth it. And... Well, we see two new assets in the reserve. The carbine rifle, which is uh, absolutely amazing. A plus five for combat. That's really cool. And the gruesome talisman. You may add one to the result of one die when resolving a will test during a combat encounter. That's also nice. Okay, cool. Uh, Mark. Well, he wants to rest. Uh, so he tries to get rid of the hunger condition here. And he sucked. Well, he could try to re-roll that. And to be honest, I think I want to do that. Just get a check if it's allowed to re-roll that die with a focus action. Yeah, I cannot do it because it's not a test. I can only use it to re-roll the die to resolve a test. Uh, to re-roll uh, if I resolve a test. So. I gain another health marker, but sadly no sanity marker. And as a second action, hmm. <clears throat> things are not looking too good. Well, I think I'm going to take another focus marker here, and that's it then. Zoe. What is she going to do? Well, she's also going to rest. I think. Okay. Then, yeah, she's allowed to try to get rid of the paranoia. And she also didn't make it. And then she can invoke the elements and she also didn't make it. Mm, great. Okay, not good at all. So, encounter face. Harvey, I think he's going to use his clairvoyance spell. He may test Lore, three dice. Oh boy. If you pass, you may choose to encounter a clue as if you are on its space, ignoring monsters on that space. Then flip this card. I'm not sure if you have to flip this card even if you didn't pass. I'm afraid I have to check. 
Yeah, I think I have to. Resolve the effect based on your test result. Zero. Opening your mind wrecks havoc on your psyche. Discard this card unless you gain a paranoia condition. Shit. Yeah, I'm willing to take that condition. Patrice, well, and Sydney. So she's going to simply draw a card here. Um, yeah, well, the notorious criminal Kate Lay has acquired a bizarre item and is looking for a buyer. She thinks no amount of money can equal someone like you owing her a favor. You may gain an agreement condition to gain one weapon artifact. Well, let's take a look at, at an agreement condition. I mean, we can take it, we can see it at least from one side, how bad it is. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Test... Influence minus one. If you pass, you may spend two clues to discard that card. I'm not going to do that. I think that's a pretty... That can be pretty painful. I mean, maybe it's not that bad, but... I don't know what it is, so... Right now... I also... I already have a good weapon, so I don't want to do that. <clears throat> now it's getting interesting. Mark, will he survive that turn? at least in a mentally healthy condition. So he's going to try to close the gate. To you, Goth, you discover a waxen mask and artificial hands. Your mind reels as you realize that the old man you had spoken to earlier was actually some terrible creature disguised as a human. Well, that doesn't look good. But we have a will of four, so hey, come on, we, we should be able to do that. Yes, that's a success. You realize now that the old man's words carry a secondary meaning. You attempt to decrypt what he said. Mm, not good. We have to do a lore test, and we only have a one here. Still, let's see, maybe we can do it. Yes! Fantastic. If you pass, you understand the man's implied instructions. Close this gate. Cool. That was great. Okay. And, yeah, awesome. Then it's... Uh, Zoe, and she has to pass now this encounter here. Someone is lost out there. Local guides will not help unless you offer a bribe. Hmm. Well, I only have an influence of two, and I didn't make it. If you fail, you fear that you are just as lost and just as abandoned. Gain a paranoia condition. Well, I already have one, so in this case, it doesn't have an additional effect for me. Now, let's come to the mythos phase. Okay, so first of all, this thing is moving on. Then... We come to this trigger marker here. So first we get to trigger monsters, the ancient one. Uh, each investigator may move one space toward the bent pyramid. Then each investigator that did not move loses one sanity. Hmm. Okay, uh... 
So let's see. I mean, these two guys will definitely move. And so that means they will actually end up here on the band pyramid. Because there is a direct direct connection here from the pyramids, is a direct path to the band pyramid. So what about the other guys? One, two, three. One, two, three. So we have this guy here, he moves to London. And she well, she has to move here then I guess. Hmm. Well, that's not great. Shit. Mm, that sucks. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, anyway, I'm going to move here with her. Not sure if it's a great idea, but I'm going to try. <clears throat> okay, and then we see another gate opening. Yeah, one. Oops. In San Francisco. And we have a buyer key appearing there. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Ravenous hunger. The police find you trembling on the floor of your hotel. You can hear them asking if you are hurt. They want to know where all the blood came from. But even after all you have done, all you can think about is your insatiable hang hunger. The lead investigator hung gains a hunger condition. Then he discards one ally asset and loses two sanity. Holy shit. Okay, I don't have an ally. My dear, this is tough. Luckily, I have still quite a bit of sanity. And I'll gain a hunger condition. Oh, and actually, I forgot. I forgot to trigger the reckoning effects here. Um, so let's see. First, we got to discard one marker here. And another here. Then we got a test. Will against the paranoia condition, and we made it. We got a test. Law against the astral travel. And uh, this time it wasn't a success. The magic rolls and fox your mind. You are no longer sure if you are where you hope to be. Lose two sanity, sanity unless you discard this card. Okay, so definitely I'm going to discard that card. I think it's not such a great spell anyway. So, uh, he has to... Do a will check against his hunger. And he made it. And she has to do a will check against the paranoia. And she didn't. Agoraphobia. You cannot tolerate the company of other people any longer. The seething masses of humanity are a blight on the face of the planet. If you are in a city space, the presence of other people erodes your reason. Lose two sanity. Then flip this card. Great. So, we better try to avoid city spaces on, on, as long as we have that card here. Okay, next turn. 
We start again with Harvey Walters. He's going to try to read again the ancient tome. We still need clue tokens. Wow, three successes. Sadly, not three clue tokens. But another one. That's not too bad. So we already have now two. In the end, we'll need four. Then I can rest, so I won't lose my sanity. can try to get rid of the hunger. No, actually, that's not true. As long as I have my hunger... It's interesting. Yeah, so I think I will actually lose my sanity because of the hunger, but I can now try to get rid of this, and I better do. Yeah, wow, that was good. That was important. That's a nasty card. Then, I'm gonna pray. Uh -uh. And then, I'm gonna roll for the paranoia to get rid of this. And yes, awesome. So I'm fine again, at least more or less. Okay. And by the way, yeah, fine. Okay. Patrice, well, what is she doing? I think she wants to close that gate in San Francisco. It's not going to be easy to get there, but she can get there in three turns, I think, which is fast enough before the gate actually activates. So I think I will move here and then I'm gonna try to Maybe I can get this gruesome talisman here. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna perform a, yeah, you know, <laughs> uh, influence action here. Ah, wasn't great. <clears throat> okay. Mark, well, Mark is over here now. So, so first of all, he wants to rest. He wants to get rid of the hunger because otherwise he cannot heal his madness. And again, he didn't make it. Oh man, that really sucks. And then I think he will actually move into a city. He can do that for free. Um, you can move between all these... A local paths here, these green paths. You can move as many paths as you, as you want and it doesn't cost you an action. But you can do it only once per turn. I cannot move somewhere, then do something there and then move again. But I can move here now into a city uh, and there I can now try to... Well, I could try to... Yeah, I think I'm going to try to do some asset. Maybe I can gain a, a nice item or something. Oh, great. Okay, not this time. Zoe. Well, she's in a desert. She could stay there. It's a wilderness area. There's not a lot she can do. She can focus and she can rest and try to get rid of the paranoia. Oops. Okay, let's see. Nope. Not this time. And then she can try to invoke the elements. And this time she had two successes. So she can place an Eldritch token there.
Okay. Now let's see. Harvey Walters in London. He's going to use again his clairvoyance spell. And this time he's better successful. Let's see. Okay, that's a success. So now he can try to gain a clue token from any space, even if he is not on that space. So he tries to get the clue token from Helsinki. You knock on the door of the plain blue house indicated in the unsigned letter you received earlier in the day. Nobody answers, but you enter and search the house anyway. Observation minus one. So he's got an observation of two, of three, so now it's only a two. And he made it. Cool. If you pass, you find documents linking the Church of Steri Wisdom with a dig site in Egypt. Gain this clue. That is cool. So now he already is at three clues. Problem is now the card here. Well, it says your mind travels across the world and the knowledge becomes clear. No additional effect. Awesome. Very, very good. So he has a good chance to gain four clue tokens in the next turn and then to resolve that mis uh, that uh, eh. rumor. Patrice, well she's here in Cape Town, just a standard city. You try to convince a notorious grifter to teach you some tricks. Well, she's not that bad in influence. And she made it easily. If you pass, he takes a liking to you and shows you how to deceive and avoid being deceived. Improve um, observation. That's good. Plus one. She is actually really good now. She's... Uh, at the beginning I wasn't sure, but I think now she's actually really good. Uh, she has become a very powerful character with all these additional uh, improvements here and these cool um, weapons, uh, the arcane blade and also the arcane scroll. Okay, now Mark Harrigan. I'm always a little afraid when it's his turn. Um, he now has to draw one of these special mystic cards here. Black Wind. You stand atop a sprawling sand dune, watching the black wind blow swiftly across the desert. From city to city it blows, smothering anything that stands before it and leaving only smoking ruins behind. You examine your map carefully to determine where the black wind will strike next. Okay, so we gotta do an observation test here. Two dice. And we made it. You reach a small village before the black wind and you call out to the spirits of those it has slain. Influence. Well, that's also not exactly my strength, but let's try it. Come on, another one here. And yeah, great! If you pass, you are infused with the righteous fury of Sekhmet, goddess of vengeance, and banish the black wind from the village. Place this Eldritch token on the active mystery. Cool. Oh, no, wait a second. It's this one. Okay, so and in the end we need actually two mysteries to solve uh, two Eldritch tokens here to solve that mystery. 
So that was a pretty good start and uh, well, it's getting a little narrow here. Okay. And finally it's Zoe and if she's doing well now we can solve the first mystery. That would be great. The wind shrieks and wails, sucking moisture from the atmosphere and withering plant life into dust. Suddenly the air ignites and a curtain of flame begins to spread outward, leaping from structure to structure. You invoke the water spirits in the area to halt its advance. So that's a lure test. Well, we have a realistic chance here. Luckily it wasn't him to do this. And we didn't make it. Shit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna spend my I'm gonna spend my focus here. Ah oh, fuck. Okay, the water spirits fail to heed your call and the fire washes over you. Lose two health. Oh, great. Ah. You try to keep calm and extinguish your burning clothes. Okay, so we got at least a will of four. Let's do this. And yeah, we made it. If you fail, well, that's not the uh, that's not the case. So okay, still two health. That's painful. So let's see what the next Mythos card brings. That's a bad one. So first, this thing here moves on. No effect. Then we got to check. Again, we got to trigger our um, yeah these uh, these special what is it called reckoning effects. Okay, so let's see. We may move one space toward the bent pyramid. Uh, okay, so she loses one sanity because she can't do it. He has to move here. So, yeah, okay, it's not too bad for her. Um, he also wants to move there, so he goes to Rome. Well, and she can actually move to the heart of Africa. Um, maybe she can try to gain an artifact there. Maybe that's not such a bad idea. I mean, she could also move here, actually, and mm, uh, maybe make it to Arkham in the next turn. Try to gain another spell, which could be pretty helpful. She's good in spells. And then trying to close that gate. That could be even a better idea. So she might actually say, okay, I'm moving here. I mean, that's the same distance from the bent pyramid as that one. So I think I'm going to move to Dakar. And then in the next turn, I can move to Arkham. That's fine with me. Okay, then we got to do all these stupid conditions where he got rid of them, lucky, and we lose, of course, here our, our Marcus. I might actually ignore this fractured reality, but we'll see about that. <coughs> um, he's got the hunger, so he's got to test Will. And he made it without any problems. She's got the paranoia. So she's got also to test Will. Ah, she didn't. But she's not in a city. So it's not a big deal. Okay. Okay. Uh, then... We gotta spawn another gate in Shanghai. 
and we got to draw a monster. We were, we're kind of lucky here with the gate that it's uh, the red one, so we have quite a bit of time. But a werewolf doesn't sound good. Move this monster one space toward the nearest investigator, then each investigator on this space loses one health. Uh, that's not too bad. <clears throat> okay, and now we come to the problem. These Kraken cards or Tentacles cards, they are always bad. An overwhelming swarm. These ancient constructions were more than just places of worship and repositories of knowledge. There were physical bulwarks against those creatures of nightmare that came from beyond. You can see brick by brick those walls are coming down. Oh shit. Oh great. Spawn one monster on each space containing a gate. One monster on the active expedition space and one monster on the mystic ruins space. Okay, we're not playing with the mystic ruins. Then each investigator encounters each monster on his space in the order of his choice. So overall, that is not so terribly bad, I think. Uh, let's start with this gate up there. That's a witch. Eh. Let's see about that. Uh, we have over there in Shanghai a second monster. A fire vampire. Hmm, well. And finally... The Heart of Africa. That's a loy, loy gore. Well, this guy sucks, I think. Yeah, that's a pretty nasty one. I'm not sure. I gotta check if the investigators here are adjacent to the Loy Gore in the Heart of Africa. Because if that would be the case, if this guy is triggered, they would lose one health and one sanity. Uh, so I gotta check that. Okay, honestly, I didn't find it. I don't know. Uh, I guess. I would say that... Now, after... These are only local paths. So this is all just around the corner. You can move there without an action. I would say these four spaces are basically here at the pyramids. So they are adjacent to the heart of Africa. Um, yeah, the Nile River is basically exactly the heart of Africa because you can get there without an action. And the Sahara Desert is adjacent to Dakar. And adjacent to the pyramids, but not to the heart of Africa. That's how I would say it. So that means that these guys are in danger if the Loigor starts making trouble. So... That sucks. She could try to banish this guy with the banishment spell. She's got to use the ritual candles. I think there is no other way for her to be successful. And even then it's going to be really tough. Well, the problem is now, she's not in a city space here, so she cannot buy these ritual candles. So she could either move back, which is probably a bad idea, because in the end she wants to close that gate over here. Oh man, well we see about all that. For now,
It's once more Harvey Waters. He's going to read in his tome once again to get that fourth clue token. And he made it. That's really cool. And then he's going to rest right away. So he's back at three. Sanity. And he can pray again. And again he made it. So he places another Eldritch token here. I think I want to place a few here and then we'll see how useful that can be. Okay, um... <clears throat> hmm. Then it's... <clears throat> Patrice Hathaway. Yeah, what is he gonna, she gonna do? Well, she might try the banishment spell anyway to get rid of the Loigor, but it's gonna be hard. She needs four successes because this guy has a toughness of four. That's a test of plus two and she can use the arcane blade that brings her to plus four and she can Add one die, add one to one die. So she's got a seven dice. She's got to be extremely lucky to, to make it here. I'm absolutely not sure this will work out. The problem is. If I don't make it, there's a good chance. Well, I mean, I could move with him somewhere else. Still, it's tempting to try it. It would be great to get rid of this monster. So I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try my banishment spell here. Plus two. Plus two. Brings it to... Yeah, plus four. So it's a seven. Okay. Okay. Let's hope for the best here. That is good enough. We got three successes and we can add one to that four. Wow, that was great. Absolutely awesome. So that means we manage, we can discard the Loigor. We gotta flip that card. The arcane words take effect and evil is banished to the world from which it came. Discard one additional monster in that space uh, with toughness equal to or less than your test result. Then flip this card. Okay, well still it was pretty good. It was a massive success basically and yeah, cool. Great, absolutely fantastic. And we got one action left. So what are we gonna do? Well, not sure. <sighs> Shit. I can move to, into the Bermuda Triangle. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. It's not fantastic. I can then move into the next. Uh, yeah, why not? It's okay, I guess. Mm, yeah, let's hope it's okay. And Mark. Well, 
Where is he gonna go? He can stay here. No, it's risky. If the other guy activates again, he's got to move to the bent pyramid, and if he cannot move there, he's in trouble. So he could move. Uh, no. I think he's going to move to Alexandria. Maybe he can do this next test there. And then it's Zoe and she stays there. Well, does that make sense? Hard to tell. I mean, yeah, she's got a lot of sanity. I think she stays here. She might have a chance to gain an artifact if she's lucky. So, oh wait. He can do, actually he didn't use an action. He just moved there. He still has something to do. He can roll. He can rest, try to get rid of his hunger condition. And this time he made it. That is very, very good. And... Yeah, he is at full strength. Well, there's not a lot he can do. Well, he's in a city. He could try to... acquire some assets. Maybe he's lucky. And he is. It's a success. So... I think he's gonna go for the gruesome talisman here. That improves his will during a combat encounter. That's definitely not bad. And... Let's see what we get. The puzzle box. When you perform a rest action, you may attempt to open the puzzle box. Observation minus two. If you pass, discard this card and gain one artifact. Also a good item. And now it's Zoe and she, as uh, she's now standing there. She wants to get rid of this paranoia. So she does a rest action. And rolls a die. Ah, shit. Still no success here. She can heal, though. So she regains some sanity. And also this and in addition she can try to invoke the elements ah great not this time okay uh, and then she's got a second action and I think she's gonna do a focus action there's not a lot otherwise she could do here okay so, then let's come to the encounter phase. Harvey in Rome. Uh, let's see. There we go. You may spend one focus to ascend the steps of the Scala Santa on your knees in contemplation and prayer. That's not going to happen. Which is kind of sad. But he doesn't have any focus. Patrice, uh, yeah, she's the Bermuda Triangle, so let's see. A sailor with a pale complexion and bulbous features holds up an odd item. His malformed hands can barely hold it, but he is willing to offer it to you as part of a bargain. You may gain an agreement condition to gain one artifact. Wow. Now this is again this really, really nasty thing. Um, oh, shit, I don't know. I really don't. I mean, artifacts are really powerful. Agreements seem to be pretty dangerous, though. I think she's actually in a pretty good shape. So... I think I'm going to go for it this time. 
I just want to know what happens. So I think this time I'm going to I'm going to take that agreement condition. I don't like it very much. Still I may spend a, when you close a gate during another world encounter, I would gain a clue. So uh, I really don't know, but getting rid of this if you pass may spend two clues. Wow, that sucks. It looks so terribly threatening. What happens? I won't do it. <laughs> Sorry, man. I, I simply won't do it. This sucks. This this can't be good. I'm not going to do that. No more luck in this game. There's already enough in there. I'm not going to do that. Mark Harrigan. <clears throat> yeah, so he's trying to uh, solve that mystery again and maybe this time he's lucky again. The once tranquil Nile churns and seethes, turgid waters whipped into a frenzy by the wicked wind. A low rumble can be heard in the distance as the water rises and the banks begin to flood. You plead with a priest of Zobek to call upon his god to calm the raging river. Well, that's going to be hard. We only have an influence of two. Yes! Easy! Wow! Twice a six. Ah, but the next one is going to be bad. As the flood rises to your knees, a gigantic crocodile emerges on the opposite bank. It opens its maw to roar and the turbulent waters subside. You begin a ritual to banish the black wind before it can cause, cause more harm. Okay, let's try it. I mean, who knows? Yeah! Ha ha! Wow, this guy, now he's really rocking. If you pass, pass, place this Eldritch token on the active mystery. If you fail, yeah, whatever. So, we made it. That was awesome. The... <coughs> We can place the Eldritch token on the mystery, and that means that the mystery is actually solved. Pretty good. Until now, this thing hasn't moved a bit, but that can change very, very fast. So now she's in the bent pyramids, and she can now try to do this. Well, actually, these two markers will go away now. She can now try to have a standard encounter and maybe she's lucky. Ben Pyramid, your hand brushes against the dark pharaoh's throne and centuries of evil fill your mind. Oh boy. Four dice. Oh shit. That's not cool. If you fail your thoughts dominate, his thoughts dominate yours. Gain an amnesia condition, and if Nephron Kaa is the Ancient One, gain one Bane condition. Wow, that was bad. Well, actually, I can play that card. I can, I can use my focus card and reroll the die, and that's something I want to do. And I made it. Lucky me. Lucky me. I don't want to get all these bad conditions here. So yeah, that's, uh, I think that was worth it. Okay. So I'm fine. No great artifacts for me, but still... At least I'm alive. Okay, now we come to the... Mythos phase, and we'll see what happens here. So this thing moves on, no effect, again, all kinds of things are triggered. First of all, we all move one space to the band pyramid. Well, I think actually with Harvey, uh, yeah, why not, I'm going to move with him there too. And she loses one sanity.
and he also moves here to the bent pyramid. Then we got to go through these conditions. Ah, uh, too many left this time. Basically, only the paranoia. She is more or less in a good shape, and even if she wouldn't make it, as long as she's not in a city, there is no bad effect for her. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. And we got to spawn a gate. Tangaska. And let's draw a monster. Goat spawn. Mm, yeah, not great, but okay. Well, okay. Well, now I realize I can't make it here. Shit. Okay, anyway. Okay, now let's see. Arcane instability. The door lay in splinters and the translator was gone. The engraved stone you left with him had been taken. Somehow the magic ward you placed here failed. Panic overtakes you as you realize you can no longer recall how to craft that protective glyph. Each investigator discards, discards half of his spells. Then he loses one sanity for each spell he has. Oh boy. Oh, that sucks. Uh, the question now is... What happens if we only have a single spell? Okay, that means we got to round up. I checked it. So that means we have to discard all the spells that are available here. And yeah, they now go away uh, on a discard pile right there. That's bad. Pretty bad card. Okay, let's do one more turn. Harvey, he starts again. Hmm. Well, he wants to move here, right? Shit. He cannot get there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shit. We have a problem now. We have to spend these two cards. Now, there's a good chance that this thing gets activated. And then... There are no Eldritch tokens on this card. Each investigator impairs each... Wow, this is really, really looking bad and we can't make it there. And things are not looking good, I think... We can move here. Okay. We can grab a ship token there. But it will take us at least two more turns, I think, to get there. Yeah. Huh? Will it? No, not necessarily, actually. We only did one more turn to get there. So we're going to grab a ship token here. And then we're done. Now it's Patrice. Okay, I think she moves one space here. Then she might rest.
Yeah, why not? That's a good idea, I think. So she regains one health. And one sanity. That's basically all she did. Mark Harrigan. He's over there. Oh, by the way, I forgot. We should check for the next mystery. Worshippers of a forsaken pharaoh. The Church of Starry Wisdom was founded upon the premise of unlocking the mysteries of the shining Trabesohedron. Now they aim to bring about the return of Nefren Kar, the Dark Pharaoh. After an investigator resolves a location encounter on the Egypt sideboard, he may spend one clue to track down the followers of the Dark Pharaoh. If he spends the clue, a cultist monster ambushes him. If he defeats it, place one Eldritch token on this card. At the end of the Mythos phase, if there are Eldritch tokens on this card equal to the number of investigators, solve this mystery. Well, that seems to be possible. Uh, we can gain clues here at Tel El Amarna. So, why not go there, you know? So he moves here. That's not an action, actually. It's just, you know, he can do that for free. Then he can rest. And he would regain one sanity, which is definitely useful. And, well, sadly, I don't know what else to do. No, actually, I wonder if I should do that. I think I'm going to move to Cairo instead, because there is already a clue there. So I'm going to go to Cairo, I'm going to rest, and then I'm going to... Hmm. What is it I want to do? I'm going to go for this reserve. Try to get some, some cool asset here. Let's see. Two successes. Awesome. Now, here's the thing. I could take a bank loan, and I think I actually want to do that. I'm not sure if I want to take the carbine rifle, but it's tempting. Or the lucky ring. I think I want to go for the carbine rifle. I'm just such an awesome fighter then. So yeah, I think I want to take that. And I take that depth condition. And the thing is, if, if this triggering effect shows up, in the next turn. This one. If this shows up on the next Mythos card, we're fucked anyway. I mean, because then this rumor uh, is triggered and I think that's basically it then. Uh, there is not a big chance if we lose on each of our... Ah, forget it. It just... I won't even think about that. I mean, really, going on playing this is... Uh, is a tough one then, but I think I will. But we're not there yet. Uh, she can do something. She can also rest. Regain some... Sanity here. Try to get rid of the paranoia action. And by the way, she moves... Yeah, she can move to tell Tell El Amarna. Try to get rid of the paranoia action. And this time she was successful. Or the paranoia condition. And then she can try to invoke the elements again. Rolls a die and no successes here. Okay, and now we're going to see the encounter phase. And we start with Harvey in Rome. The statue of St. Michael atop the castle St. Angelo inspires you. Improve will. Now that's really cool.
Inside you meet Count Cagliostro, who died over a hundred years ago. Will minus one. So we have a will of four. That's a three then. And we have a success. If you pass, he shares a quest. Gain one task, unique asset. Cool. Okay, now this is walking the ley lines. When you close a gate during an other world encounter, place that gate on this card. Then you may flip this card. Okay. Patrice. She's again there on the sea. The crew knows a legend about gold coins lost in this area. The story reminds you of an obscure shipwreck you've studied. Let's do a lore test here with three dice. Uh, we didn't make it. If you fail, the crew claims you owe them. Discard two item or trinket possession. You gotta be kidding me. This is horrible, man. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. So we're gonna lose our great arcane blade. Wow, that sucks. By the way, we see the astronomy guidebook here in the reserve. Oh man, that's a bummer. Ah, shit. You know, honestly, I think that's why I prefer Arkham Horror. There are not that many ups and downs. It all seems a little more under control. I mean, if I... Yeah, whatever. It's, it's so frustrating. Okay. So, Mark Harrigan. He's over here in Cairo. He wants to gain that... Uh, clue token. In a city, a package from someone named Abdul Rais El Drogman is addressed to a local merchant. To your horror, a corpse bursts from the package upon delivery. A mummy monster ambushes you. If you pass the strength test, the grateful merchant rewards you handsomely. So we have a good chance to do that. We just have to pass the test here with four dice. And we made it! Very good! So that means now gain this clue and improve influence. So that's what we're going to do. Until now, it's not too bad. And now it's Zoe. And well, she's all she's here. Tell El Amarna. So I think she got to draw that card here. Yeah, exactly. You try to find the caretaker for the South Tombs. So she's got to do an observation test, and she's really bad in that. And she made it anyway. If you pass. He grants you access and speaks at length about his relatives to the north. Gain one clue and spawn one clue on Alexandria. Cool. Okay, so we'll place a clue here. And we gain one. That's pretty good because... That's a good start to uh, yeah to place some some clue tokens there. And now it's the interesting point. I mean, if we draw now a card with this symbol, I'm heavily pissed because then we're in deep, deep trouble. Wow, wow, that was close. Ooh, okay, now we actually can move during the next uh, turn here, and we have a chance.
Yeah, we have a good chance then to solve that mystery, but we still have to pass an observation test. Oh, man. Now, let's see. First, we're going to go on here. So first, what happens is this thing moves on. That's not good. So we have here a green gate and I think over here a green gate. So that means the thing moves down by two spaces. We have a monster search. What does that mean? Well, it means two monsters on each of these gates. Okay, that's a problem because we want to close that gate. So we got a ghost there. Oh, man. And a riot. Okay, so the real problem is that she lost her cool, uh, she lost her arcane blade, and that is really painful. So now she's not gonna, and she doesn't have any spells. She's not gonna get there. She, you know, she's not gonna, she's not gonna close that gate. It's simply not gonna happen. With four monsters, no chance. He could do it maybe, but right now he's uh, okay. Whatever. Uh, and we got to place two monsters on the other one. And we got the Servitor of the Outer Gods. That's a tough guy. Oh, shit. And we got... Oh, boy, you got to be kidding me. A duel. This is even worse. I think we might want to go to Tokyo and get rid of some monsters, but oh boy, the situation is not, not good at all anymore. The only good thing is that we're kind of making progress with the mysteries. Now let's see. Oh, we can spawn clues. That's cool. Oh, that's a 12. One down here, and this one in the heart of Africa. Heart of Corruption. You compared the picture in the magazine to the drawing on the old tattered map. It was definitely a match, but what could be so valuable that it required so much secrecy, and why was that particular point on the map marked with blood? The lead investigates one artifact and rolls one die. On a one or two, he loses two health and two sanity. Okay, so he would survive that. Let's see. Fuck. Poor Harvey. Okay, he's still alive, but in a really bad shape, especially because of his little sanity. Okay, still he gains an artifact. Maybe that's something amazing. The Cursed Sphere. Okay, I mean, plus two to all skills. That's pretty good. Roll one die on a one or two gain a cursed condition. Well, who knows? Okay, I think it's definitely going to be helpful to resolve that observation test here. So at least we're going to get rid of this uh, of this uh, thing here. Ah oh, man, oh man, oh man! I really wonder what to do now. Okay, we're going to see during the next turn. Um, I'm not happy with the situation. Overall, I think the mysteries are okay. It's not too bad until now. But all these monsters... Uh, 
I don't like that too much. And the good thing is until now, we basically only have these two green gates and a single red one. No blue gate. It's not too bad. We'll see about all that. Hope to see you on the next video. All right. Bye.